I, I feel so sick on my stomach and have been ever since the Supreme Court did what it did several days ago. First of all, it was, un, it was illegal. It was unconstitutional. And what kills me is nobody's contesting it. Where's the ACLU that should be looking out for our rights and keeping one particular branch of the government from taking our rights away? When I saw the White House arrayed in those rainbow colors, I was sick. That has never happened in the history of this country. I want to know why on the 4th of July they didn't color the White House in red, white, and blue. Folks, whether we want to admit it or not, this country stuck its finger in God's eye. And the leadership of this country has applauded it. I am... Uh, I feel a kind of a sickness on me right now as I think we crossed a line. This country crossed a line a few days ago. I preach to you we are to be compassionate, and we are. But that does not negate the fact that we went somewhere we've never been before as a nation, and we're going to pay for it. And the leadership is responsible for it. Oh, boy. When, when they congratulated each other, patting each other on the back, talking about a new day, I'm sorry, as a believer, I just wilted. I wilted. We've gone somewhere we've never been before as a nation in our conscience. We've opened up something that will never be, well, it will never be returned to what it was. So you may now get ready for faster, more God-defying acts in the White House, in the Congress, and in the Supreme Court. I did hear this observation made the other day. When Israel turned away from God, some of God's worst punishment came because Israel's judges led them away from God. I wish I could be happier this tonight and have a big time. This is how serious this is to me. I have never felt what I'm feeling tonight about this country. I have never seen a power come over it. In times past, there would be people rising up and pitching a fit about our individual freedoms and rights, and it's not happening. You know why? Because a spirit is now controlling it. A spirit from another world. It might even be that old boy right there who has finally moved in. He found his place. He's got a foothold. And this country thinks that it's immune from another attack. We think the economy really is going to recover. We think people are going to love us. Folks, if we've ever prayed for this country, we better pray for it now. And if there's anything that irks me as a pastor, it's this election voting political business. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring this up one Sunday pretty soon. It is not right when you can talk Christ and Christianity and holiness and all that stuff, but when it comes time to vote, you vote somebody that promotes abortion, promotes... Uh, perverted living just because he's in a particular party or she's in a particular party. It's wrong. It's wrong. 
we ought to be praying about somebody. God raise up somebody. Just somebody who's got some decent values and who can see the writing on the wall. 